Hello, this is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. And I'm Kane. And today we are doing a ZT collection video. Uh, we're also going to be doing Kershaw's as well. Um, Kane here has a bit of an affinity towards uh, ZT and uh, Kershaw, a little more ZT than anything. Um, and I also have a, you know, a couple. So we're going to be going over those, show you guys what is uh, stuck around and uh, you know, what we enjoy. All right, so I guess I'll start off. My first knife actually got, it was actually one of my first knives overall, was the Kershaw Leak. This is the carbon fiber version with the one, I believe it's CPM 154, yeah. CPM 154 blade, stone wash finished. Uh, this was a Ken Onion design. Uh, it is a speed safe knife. You know, just getting the knives are starting out. This is the coolest thing you can have is a speed safe knife, obviously. So I had to pick one up. And also, that's one of the Kershaws that's made in America, too. I don't know if he's. Uh, yeah. So that's always a, a plus. And honestly, you know, some people don't like the leak because of how thin that blade stock is. To me, these things, I mean, they slice great. It's so slicey. Real comfortable for the uh, kind of thinness of it this way. But uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely like it. Now, it is something that when you try and swap that clip you got so much sticking out that this is one of the few knives that really might as well leave it tipped down it really actually carries better tipped down yeah it didn't bother me at all plus i guess you can lock it close mm -hmm. using that little tab there so it won't come open um and when i was just getting into knives i sort of liked that feature just because i was afraid it would maybe come out in my pocket or something so that's my first one my second uh kershaw that i got um, getting into knives was the Kershaw Method. Uh, this one is in all black, but it had actually a great action. This one is not assisted, um, and it's a 8 CR13 MOV blade and so design, but it actually a really good action. Um, drops shut pretty good and just flies out when you open it. For the price, uh, it's hard to be. I think what, it was thirty dollars. Some around? Like, somewhere around like twenty five or twenty five to thirty dollars. Um, very nice little knife. Not to mention, this was one of the, uh, I want to say it was like 2018, Kershaw uh, released like two or three different uh, knives that were sort of opposite their normal recipe of speed assist and really doing uh, some nice bearings with some detents. And yeah, this one, uh, really not that bad for the price. I mean, really, really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to do one of my Kershaws, and I'm going to do one of my first ones from... Uh, back in high school, I think I had first gotten this one. And if you notice, it was speed uh, safe. I did not de-assist it to, uh, you know, make myself cooler. Uh, it broke over time. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this one I uh, carried for quite a bit uh, back in high school. And this was one of my first knives uh, that kind of started to get me into knives. I think this is the... Uh, Blackout is the model, but yeah, the 155 OST, made in the USA, half, uh, half serrated, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I've had this one for uh, quite some time, and uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed that guy. We'll have him sit on the couch, and uh, yeah, there we are. Two more Kershaws, I think, so this is the bare knuckle. This is Sprint Run version in carbon fiber and M390 blade. A black wash, stone wash finish. I've really enjoyed this. I, th I think this is one of Kershaw's best designs. Very slim in the hand. Ergonomics are great. Good action. Drops shut nicely. Um, beautiful, I think, deep carry pocket clip. I really like this clip. Reminds me of like Kershaw's version of the mini bug out clip. But it's done really well. I like it any time they do a, a smaller clip. To me, yeah. if you do a smaller clip and it's done well, I, I'm always on board for that. Yep. So, really like this one. Cut myself, cut myself the other day, taking it apart. Very sharp still. Um, so, really enjoyed that one so far. And uh, that one, to me, I definitely uh, think is great bridging that gap of some of your uh, more common Kershaws to uh, a little bit nicer one kind of before you step into ZT. I think that's a great option. Absolutely. And we'll do the last Kershaw before we clear those out of the way. And that is the 
mini uh, matrix. This one was actually uh, given to me by uh, someone you guys might know, uh, Kane over here. All right. Um, and uh, definitely an, a nice little one in copper scales with D2. And uh, oh yeah, that uh, copper is patina pretty nicely. Yeah, they both have the subframe lock, same family um, with the Natrix and the bare knuckle. So very similar design cues. The bare knuckle is a little bit slimmer um, than the Natrix family, but everything else is pretty much the same. Even the same pocket clip on there as yep. well. Um, well, let's, uh, well let's, yeah, let's get these guys cleared out of the way and bring in the ZTs. Dun, 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 dun. Who we have starting off? So first ZT that I got was the 0562 carbon fiber. This is a hinderer design. 20 CV blade, uh, titanium on one side, carbon fiber on the other. Um, they make it in several varieties. At one point they had a G10 model as well as now they have a full titanium model. But this is an awesome knife, especially if you want to get a hinderer design for about half the price of a real hinderer. Love the pocket clip. Very deep carry, about as deep carry as you can get um, with this pocket clip, which I really enjoy comes off the side or the edge of the um, scale there. So love that pie clip, great knife, and just fall shut, I mean, amazing action. Yeah, I just have to point out one more time because that's my favorite thing about this is, oh, I love the, uh, the grind on that one. It just looks so beautiful when you can really catch those grind lines nicely. Uh, really looks good, oh yeah. What's next? On the same lines with the grind lines. Same, lines with, <laughs> Same lines, lines with the grind lines. The 0609 from ZT. This is a classy knife, all titanium, 3D milled, and more of a bronze finish. Uh, I really like this one. I, it's, I wear it when I'm dressing up a little bit more. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is there's a proprietary tool to take this apart. As you can see, you can see through the pivot, which is cool. You know, I don't know if it has any actual function besides being like a cool look. Um, but a very classy knife, good action. I like this all titanium 20 CV blade on this one as well. And and my issue with proprietary stuff, it, uh, not a lot of the times is it, oh, I, I just bought this XX amount of knife and I've got to spend more money to get the tool. A lot of it to me is, you know, if the knife comes and let's say it's just a tad bit off centered or, you know, just, uh, you know, if the clip, not in this case, but in some place, cases is proprietary as well. Yeah, a little bit loose to make those small adjustments um, I just I, I like it to be in something like torque so you can just do that uh, right off the bat you know not having to uh, go out and wait for anything or any sort of thing like that so yeah. just a little quick note on that I agree my third ZT that I got was the 0850 in carbon fiber this was a sprint run version as well the original version had carbon fiber and blue scales um, and also some different color hardware it was a little bit darker here lighter here so I wasn't as big of a fan but this version I really enjoyed um, sort of a murdered outlook but amazing action and for the length of the blade I think this is a 3.75 inch it is extremely light it's almost um, deceivingly light you pick it up you're like oh wow I was expecting it to be much heavier but um, great action the blade falls shut Again, beautiful grind lines. The ZT does very well. This one's done in 20 CV. There we go. It's a Sinkovich Rexford collaboration. Um, and I really enjoy this 3D pocket clip. It also has a subframe lock, which is um, similar to like the bare knuckle and the Natrix family. Uh, but just a very pleasurable knife. When just to touch on weight, uh, one more time with this, 4.3 ounces. All right, so that's 4.3 ounces on a knife that's like over eight and a half inches, close to nine inches long. That's that that's really impressive and something that I don't know. You you just don't expect it to be that light. You don't expect it to really give that feel off. And then in hand, it's oh, crazy, crazy. So much lighter. I think this is almost over a full ounce heavier. Yeah. So and you can definitely tell the difference. Um, and sometimes you like the heft, but I, I really enjoy. Um, having this one and just the ergos and the weight for the 
for the length of the blade. Last but not least. Uh, I'm going to scoot these guys out of the way for the last one. Yeah. I have the ZT. This is a recent purchase. ZT0393. This is the sprint run version. And 20 CV as well. Another hinderer design. I do like the that you can use the hinderer hardware on this. You can do the filler tabs, change to a hinderer clip, change the pivot on these, and um, with just you know completely um, all hinderer parts, which is pretty awesome. Much more expensive than normal parts, but sometimes it's worth it. Well, it's nice to really take something that's kind of production and really kind of make it your own, without having to really break the uh, bake the brank, bake brank the brank. <laughs> You guys know what I'm trying to say. We'll figure it out. I'm going to write it down, sound it out, do some flashcards, practice. Next time, it'll, it'll be there. Uh, but uh, And we'll do my last ZT, which uh, you can see why we maybe did these together. The 0393 in the more standard variant. Uh, mine, uh, you can see, has a ridiculously wide bevel on there. Uh, the person that owned it before me did some real poor sharpening and so that kind of made me feel a little more confident with uh, really trying something different out on this guy so I dropped the bevel down to like 14 per side uh, 14 degrees per side on this guy uh, just trying something out um, and then also added the copper filler tab and the uh, hinderer clip which might be uh, swapping yeah, the yeah, guy. Yeah, I think this guy would look pretty good on mine. Tell, tell us what you think, if we should do that swap. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we're going to do that swap. Kane's going to buy me a steak dinner, and I think we're going to call it a day. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's all we've got. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, stopping by the living room. Yeah, and have a good day.